when a mass shooter uh, uh, gets shot by the police and he's brought to the hospital, no one says, why did that doctor operate on that bastard? You know, because that's the doctor's job, to try to save the person's life. And no one questions that. But yet, when we then show up, it's all of a sudden, well, how can you do that? You know, I could ask the same question of the doctor. How can he do that? We're both sort of doing what we are obligated to do. Uh, now, having said that, I don't view my job as, quote, getting somebody off. You know, um, and, and it really took me a long time to sort of articulate this to myself. But, you know, when somebody comes into my office, uh, whether they tell me they're guilty or I just have a pretty good sense they're guilty and at a minimum they're going to get convicted. My job at that point is sort of like a, you know, a cancer doctor. You know, my job is to try to ameliorate the damage. You know, normally what, you know, most people, I'm not saying everybody, but most people when they commit a crime, it's the worst moment of their life. You know, they've done something that is horrendous, not just to everybody else, but to them when they stop and think about it. Uh, it's, it's a split second thing, usually. Um, and so um, I don't think people ought to be judged by the worst 30 seconds or five minutes or 10 minutes of their life. Uh, and so my job at that point is to put it into context. Uh, my job at that point is to explain to a prosecutor why the death penalty, for example, isn't necessarily appropriate because you really need to understand what this person went through as a child and blah, blah, blah. Uh, or my job is to explain to a prosecutor why the, what he or she's planning on charging the person with is, is not appropriate. Or to explain to a judge why a particular sentence uh, is too harsh. So, you know, when you say, you know, what happens when you're representing somebody who's guilty and sort of how do you reconcile that, I reconcile it by, by recognizing that they're human beings, uh, that none of us are perfect, uh, that in a lot of situations there but for the grace of God go I, uh, in terms of, you know, I, I was fortunate to be brought up in a, you know, a very privileged uh, circumstance. You know, lots of people aren't. Uh, and so, from my perspective, what I'm doing is not trying to get somebody off. What I'm doing is trying to make sure that, that justice takes into account all the relevant factors. I hope that answers your question.